Let's talk about two of the best Bionicle sets ever, and also we'll discuss some ways that you could reimagine these characters. We'll do so by taking a look at some awesome community creations. So let's dive in. Iruni and Norik are some of the coolest Toa sets that we ever got. I never actually bought these as a kid and I've had to buy them later as an adult, but boy I remember staring at images of these in LEGO magazines back in the day and dreaming of owning them. I mean look at the beautiful gold and silver armor that they have, these awesome spear weapons, this sick new shield piece, and these brand new masks. Although these masks appeared in later sets in different colors so they were a little bit less exclusive and impressive, but when they were exclusive in these sets back in 2005, Oh, they were the coolest thing ever. I mean, they're gold and silver. Those colors excited the pants off of me as a kid. That alone makes them cool. These sets were just packed full of wonderful exclusive pieces, great designs, and pretty much everything you ever want out of a Bionicle set. And what made them cool was the fact that they had the awesome Toa Metru body design, which is a staple across all of the Toa that came out in 2004. But these sets came out in 2005, when the Toa Metru became the Toa Hordika, and they adopted a new look with new forms. So it's cool that a whole year later LEGO decided, no, we're gonna go back to the Metro build for these special one-off sets. It just makes it feel like extra cool and extra special. And any toy that feels rare and special and different, that excites you so much as a kid. And it excites you a lot as an adult as well, let's be fair. Now, this Metro frame. Some say that the Metro build was the best Toa design that we ever got. It still has the gear functions that everyone loved, and unlike the Toa Nuva and the Toa Mata, they also had wonderful elbow and knee articulation. It's pretty cool that in the mid-2000s, for a brief, shining moment, there was a beautiful union between form and function, which we call the Metru Torso. And a reasonable man cannot differ. And comparing the look of these two to an original Toa Metru figure, like Onwa here, I love that they decided to layer in some extra armor, like on the torso for example. It gives them this like valiant knight look. It's just such a great aesthetic, and it feels special. I think that's so important to these figures, they feel special. But yeah, playing with that gear function, it is pretty good fun. I understand why people love the Metro frame. Although it did always annoy me that the gear function can limit posability. You know, sometimes you want them to pose in a very specific way, but the way that the gears move, it just doesn't want to stay in that position. It's a little annoying, but like, eh, who cares? The gear function's great, and that's all that matters. Iruni and Norik both share the exact same torso mechanic. One side has the gear function, so you can swing their arm, and the other one just has a pin, so you can pose it however you want. It is completely separate from the gear function. I appreciate the difference here. You know, I like that if you really wanted to, you could remove the gear function entirely and have both arms pose however you want them to. Or if you really wanted to, you could have both arms be a part of the gear function. It's up to you. You would need to get a few extra pieces and stuff, but it's entirely possible and not that difficult to do. Oh, and now these awesome shield pieces. They're exclusive to these two sets, but they're great, aren't they? Not only do you get an awesome looking shield, but it also has a built-in Rituka spinner launcher. And you also have a place to store an extra one of those spinners as well. How cool is that? Ah, and here's the spinner in action. I always loved playing with these as a kid. They never really went the direction that I wanted them to go in, but it was lots of fun to launch them and have them fly off at quite a distance. These things went very far and decently fast as well. So yeah, mate, these sets are just phenomenal and they still feel special all these years later. But let's take a look at a couple different revamps of these characters that were built by some very talented LEGO builders. The first one is a revamp that offers some more subtle changes. The next one takes the characters in an awesome and mind-blowing cool new direction. Bob the Doctor 27 has revamped both of these characters, and he's really leaned into that knight aesthetic that they've got going on. So he's put in a bunch of additional armor on these guys, and these additions feel so natural and fitting to the characters. That's the reason why I love Bob the Doctor as a builder. He's a master of filling in gaps, tidying up designs, and adding small touches that just perfect how a set looks. This new additional armor on the legs and the shoulders, these actually come from the awesome Knight's Kingdom LEGO sets. These are technically construction sets, and some of these awesome armor parts, they are very compatible and look so good on Bionicle Creations. What a great idea to include them here, they fit right at home. These are such subtly beautiful redesigns, I adore them. Now this time two different builders have individually tackled revamping both Iruni and Norak. So let's start off with the Norak revamp. This was built by the amazingly talented Loaf Builds. This mock feels like a rather large departure from the original source material, but when we read some of the elements of their backstory over on the Bionicle wiki page, it starts to make a little bit more sense. So the very first sentence for the Wikipedia page on Norak, it says the following. Norak was a Toa of Fire who became the leader of Makuta Teridax's Toa Hagar team. He was mutated into a Rahaga, but later mutated back. 
So, you know, after all that mutation and the changes to the shape and the form of this character, it makes sense that his body could have been altered as a result of all of that change. So, you know, some of these like thinner arms and the wires poking out everywhere. I love that idea. It's an interesting way of showcasing how he could have been changed or altered due to some of those mutations. And also, I just love seeing AFOLs add their own personal flair onto builds like this. Seeing the personality and the unique ideas of the artist, how they've embedded that into their creation, and how they've used it to improve an existing design. That's just so exciting to me. I love a unique take like this. Now, I mentioned before those wires. Using some minifigure whips, that's such a cool idea to help create that cool robotic aesthetic. And also the gradient that these printed trans orange CCBS armor shells create. It really looks like that trans orange is just seamlessly fading into that black. That's such a lovely gradient that they've created there. And finally, Todorik has revamped Toa Aruni, and oh baby, this looks great. It's lovely to see some of these 2x2 curved tiles being added to the back of Aruni's mask. Anything you can do to change up a mask just a little bit, that's always such a good idea, and not everyone does that too. Todd has also done a brilliant job of balancing different shades of gold on this mark. We got old gold, we've got metallic gold, chrome gold, and even some of the vinyl plastic gold on the torso there. But yeah, they all work so well together. Sometimes different shades of gold that Lego makes, they kind of clash a little bit, I find. But this is just the perfect balance. They all work so well together here. Todd nailed that. The lovely cloth additions to the spear, that's also so cool. The sick dark green dragon head on the shoulder there, that's rad. So many great changes to Aruni. So there you go, that's some ways that you could maybe revamp and reimagine both Aruni and Norik. How great are both of these sets, hey? Some of the best of the best, that's for sure. So hopefully you enjoyed this little set review and hopefully you got a little bit of inspiration for some future revamps or if you want to revamp these characters specifically. Be sure to check the links in the description below if you want to check out more from these very talented builders as well. Thanks for watching guys, happy building and bye for now.